These two had me in tears. David and Sheila are devastated as he leaves to return to the US. We'll get into their emotional goodbye and Sheila's son's surprising reaction to their engagement news. Kami duha ni David, engaged na. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into fan favorite couple, David and Sheila. Last night, David proposed me and I feel so much happy. And I said yes. Yes, she did. And David dishes on how they celebrated. A wink, wink. Look at Sheila all giggly. David must have done a great job last night. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's not push it. David and I were headed back to home in Cebu City to see my father and my son before David goes back to the US tomorrow. Fast forward, Sheila and David sit down with her son and father to tell them the big news. Kami duhani David. Engage now. Oh, look how her son suddenly stops drinking. Now his reaction was like a movie. I started to get a little nervous. You remember, a few episodes ago, he made it clear that he doesn't want to go to the US. Janril, gusto mo bang mag move sa America? Marami na mga activities na pwedeng gawin doon. Doon pa lang matututo mo nang gumamit ng English language. He straight up said no. And Sheila struggled with that because of course she's not trying to leave her son behind. But thankfully, it's looking like he's come around. That just warmed my heart. Exciting. Excited. Oh, look how happy Sheila's dad is, too. I just hope at some point, David manages the little boy's expectations a bit. It's important to understand that a number of places in the U.S don't necessarily look like what you see on TV. Nevertheless, he will be afforded some great opportunities here. Kids have no filter. By the way, David is from Omaha, Nebraska, if you didn't know. So I'm assuming that's where Sheila and her son will be moving. You can tell he's real excited about the food. <laughs> Y'all saw his eyebrows? I'm a foodie too, Jean Riel. I get it. I am so happy, 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 happy. I know we still have a lot of things to work out, but I can't wait to marry David and our family will be complete. <sighs> this was such a beautiful and happy moment, but what comes next? Ugh, hurts. Not only for Sheila and David, but for me too. I didn't realize I cared that much. I'm worried about our future. 
because I don't know when will I see him again. The time has come for David to return to the U.S. On their way to the airport, he opens up about how hard it is to leave Sheila after all she's gone through. He also admits he's feeling a lot of pressure. He has to apply for her visa, which he knows nothing about, pay for plane tickets, their house, the wedding. He doesn't know how long it will be before he can afford those things. The only thing he does know is that he's planning to go back to the Philippines to see Sheila next year. I'm hoping it's around October at the time that they're filming, and when he says next year, he means in a few months, not an entire year. Because, whew, I get a little antsy when I don't see my man for a week. To go a year? Especially when you have a love as genuine as theirs? That's heartbreaking. They get to the airport and it's officially time for them to say their goodbyes. If you know, you know those moments where you try to be as present as you can and soak in your partner as much as possible before the moment just becomes a memory. That's a lot. When you want to fall in love, you don't think about these moments because you want to be in love so bad. But when you give your heart to somebody, enjoyable, sweet feelings are not what you're going to feel all the time. Being in love is a beautiful thing, but as they say, there's a price that comes with loving someone. And that's dealing with intense emotions like these at times. But if you ask me, I still think it's worth it, especially if the good times outweigh the bad. I'm too much. Oh, I know you are. Now this next moment is what brought me to tears. Those lyrics right there that got me. Someday you're gonna come out of this so beautiful. That plus David waving at the window and Sheila talking about, please come back to me. My heart hurt for them. Someday you're gonna wake up and feel no pain. I shazammed this song so quick. I was like, who wrote this? The song is called Chasing Down Gold, by the way. It's lovely. You know, sometimes when we're in pain, we need to be reminded that it's not going to last forever. Our hardest times can eventually become the very thing that grows us into a person we've only dreamed of becoming. Someday you're gonna come out of this so beautiful.
Still stuck on that song. It's also sweet that David said it's impossible for his love for Sheila to fade. Now impossible is a huge statement, but I do believe it would take a lot to destroy the special connection that they have. I'm rooting for these two. I hope they make it. All right, next week, Gino is back in America and Jasmine finally has her visa appointment. It's a huge day because Jasmine has her visa interview at the embassy in Panama. We've been waiting a year and a half. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Jasmine, baby, there you are. <laughs> what do you think? Are those sad or happy tears? I'm gonna go with happy. You know, sometimes when they edit the previews, they like to make us think it's something else. <laughs> we'll see. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.